also the religious people of the world or of America want certain books taken out of the public schools because they don't want their children knowing anything that goes against their beliefs. They want to keep their children sheltered. They want their children only to know the information they want them to know. They don't want access to any information at all. Even fictional ones. They're convinced that fiction is so dangerous that it can sway children's minds and make them think about stuff and even more horrifically think critically about things and they might not choose the same religious path their parents have chosen. Thus the dangers of religion in a nutshell. It keeps you in a little box and you're not allowed to think. You're not allowed to question. You're not allowed to do anything. And the religious people apparently want this for their children. And they say things like, don't indoctrinate our children. Which I think is, it's, it's funny. One, it's such a big word, I didn't realize they knew it. Two, when you have children and you keep them at home, indoctrinating them into your belief, that's indoctrination. It still counts, even if you're doing it to your children. And, I mean, I feel that religion is not for children. Did you read the Bible? <clears throat> Have you read any other holy books? They're not for kids. They're really bloody. It's all about death, like children's songs. <laughs> The nursery rhymes and all that. Like, it's not a book for kids. Religion isn't for children. You're supposed to, like, grow up and think about stuff and figure out what your beliefs are. Not be groomed and indoctrinated your whole life to believe the same whatever that your parents believe. Remember when grooming meant, like, hygiene? Man, those were the days. But they want their children as sheltered as they are. And they don't want their children to have access to anything, even fiction, that might mold their little minds. And I'm like, do you plan on keeping them home their whole lives? Because that's the only way you're going to accomplish this ridiculous feat. Children should not be indoctrinated into anything. Belief or unbelief. Children should get to know, you know, like, facts. And they should be able to think about things. They should be able to use their imaginations. They should be able to think critically. And if they don't come to the same conclusion that you have come to, then you should let it go. That's what a good parent does. They don't demand and whine and cry and throw tantrums to make their children believe as they do. That's not a good parent. It's a bad parent and a bad strategy for life in general. Keeping children in the dark doesn't do any good. It doesn't help your cause. It just makes dumb adults. Thus the reason we are where we are right now. But I digress. If you want your children sheltered, whatever. But keep them at home. Everyone should have access to all works, fiction and nonfiction. And as the parent, it is your job to teach children what is fact from what is fiction. Perhaps by being a religious believer, those lines are a little bit blurred for you, but they're not for the rest of us. And no one should be cut off from information. Because information should be available for all.